Hey there guys. So today I'm going to be talking about two keys of why you should get your residency in 2024. So to start right now, you're probably sitting in your home country where you've lived all over most of your life. You have your bank account in your home country. You have your job in your home country. You have all your assets basically in that one country. Now, that's just the way most people live, but it's good to have an alternative. Look at what happened in Ukraine, for example. Now, if you were living in Ukraine, you own property there, or you know you have your job there, all these things, your family is there, and you didn't have an alternative to go somewhere else when things started to go south, then you're kind of out of luck. So. That's where it's great to have an alternative. So number one is to get an alternative. This is why this should be something, this should be a priority for you in the next year. Is I'm not, I'm not telling you to live in fear because personally I think you shouldn't live in fear. And having something like this set up will help you have less fear because then you already know it. Whenever something happens that goes wrong, in my home country, then you already have the alternative. You already know what your plan is. You know, you don't want to be in that situation where something changes in your country and it's time to move and you don't have another option. You don't have a second residency. You don't have a plan on where to go on all these things that you would need to set up to start your life in a new place. You want to have that. So, this is one of the key reasons is to have your first alternative. You got to have a backup plan. Here's some statistics I found. Um, new American Civil War. So as you can see here, this is kind of an uptrend. You know, people are worried more and more about this. And then another one, if you go onto Google and you're looking at current situation, you know, war, this is, of course, tragic, but more and more occurrences of it happening, not just in Europe, but in the Middle East and other areas. So people are rightfully concerned about this. And the next, th the next key reason I would bring to you to get your res residency in Paraguay is South American travel. So. You know, maybe you're considering Paraguay as a good second option. Maybe you're considering other parts of South America. Now, one of the benefits that people don't really talk a whole lot about with getting Paraguayan residency is it actually opens up the map of South America to you. So let me just show you here. This is, as you can see, a map of all of the countries that Paraguayan citizens can travel to visa free. And if you look here in South America, you can see in the dark blue, that's Paraguay right there, if you didn't already know. And you see all these countries in blue. So you got Brazil, Argentina, Peru, Colombia, those are the big ones. And all these countries in blue, you can just travel to with your Paraguayan cedula when you come here and get it. This is what your uh, cedula is gonna look like, something like this. Here's another picture we have here so just with this card you can go and go to all these places that you may consider visiting or even living in and I find this extremely convenient um, as a foreigner in a different country you're always supposed to carry your passport on you but if you're in these other Mercosur countries or these countries with that allow you to just travel with the ID card then, well, you don't need to have your passport in your pocket. You can simply have your cedula card in your wallet, which I find much more convenient. And this is, this worked. I've personally traveled uh, to some countries using just the cedula, and it works quite well. It's um, it's quite easy, you know, when they see that you're just from a neighboring country or a country in the same breeze region probably going to get asked less questions and you know they will make things smoother for you 
So anyway, those are just a couple of key reasons why you should get your Paraguayan residency in 2024. I'll add another one, um, speed and ease. This is one of the easiest countries as of 2024 to get the residency. Basically, all you gotta do is prepare a couple documents. You need to get your criminal background check and your birth certificate, both apostate. And once you have those done, you can simply bring the documents here to Paraguay and we can help you with the rest of the process and within you know, a short, one short trip and waiting a few more weeks, you will have your cedula in your hand and you will already have this taken care of you know, before even half the year is done if you take action now. So anyway, if that's something that interests you, feel free to book a call or write to us. The information is down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.